I feel defeated. Nice long stay if all goes according to plan. Look at this wood. Come to a camp with all this wood. <laughs> it's a dream. That is sweet. Living a life of luxury. Yeah. Not much snow. Just like I remember it. But more wood. How much room for activities? start for today yeah stoves on let's get some dinner going sounds good to me nice easy start to the trip mm -hmm. should be a beauty night too yeah come on in lovely just getting toasty in there <laughs> that's so nice come home too hard day's work <laughs> Stove's going. It's minus 12 right now, so it's not bad at all. But it still feels amazing. And we buried a couple of beverages in here. Cremor, Blanche de Chambly. These are only beers for the trip. Can't bring too many on a backcountry trip. Just one to celebrate the first night. It actually is kind of fro. Yeah, it's getting frozen. Yeah. The snow actually slows it down, the freezing. Good time? Years. Nice. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> Got some golden brown pierogies for dinner. You're very excited with some sour cream. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wind down with some tea here by the fire. Ice music is fantastic tonight. <laughs> it's a symphony. Tons of it. Yeah, it's symphony. Beautiful to listen to.
Morning. <laughs> Morning. Hello. What was that chilly one? Wasn't it was fun. One. Yeah. Yeah. Save some firewood. It's nice and cozy in here. Breakfast. Breakfast burritos going this morning. Warming up our tomatoes. We're hard as rocks. Solid breakfast to start the day and a solid start to the trip. We got yeah. fantastic night. The, the audio last night was magical. Mm -hmm. Ice popping all the time, which sounds anything from like low thunder to a cannon firing to lasers. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy the noises it makes. Yeah, it's really cool sound. And then the, uh, the trees were popping too. Woodpecker and some mm -hmm. birds. Stove popping. So yeah, <laughs> it was quite a the ambiance yeah it was a nice start to the trip it was so nice to have camp set up so just to be able to get out here and not have to do a ton of work dive right in day one just dive in yeah yeah and that was your coldest cold camp minus yeah. 25 yeah which we weren't expecting thought it'd be warmer and this is your first week-long winter trip Probably yeah goes well yeah we were supposed to do a week long one last year yep and uh tragically got cut short yeah day three Four, three or four? Yeah, yeah, injury happened on day three right. when we left day four. So, we're excited for this one. Mm -hmm. Lots to make up for. So we're getting our day started. Got the trail cam charged up. Picked it up yesterday. I'm sure there's nothing on it from last time. And last time I missed the links while I was charging it. And it happened again. There are fresh links tracks here. Uh, yet again, this is our trail up. Our car is a kilometer from camp, so it's a nice, easy haul. And these are Lynx tracks right here. Walk down the shoreline, over there. That's so yep. cool. They're pretty round, no claw. Oh. It's a little So, <laughs> I think we'll set the yeah. trail cam maybe on this tree here. Because it obvi yeah, it it's obviously, yeah. It's obviously, yeah. This is this highway, wow. <sighs> and again. This <laughs> this is in view. Camp is way back there, but this area we could still see and I could still yeah. film it with the telephoto lens. So, man, I want to get footage of it. Yeah. It's just the most majestic animal. They're so cool. Oh. That's so cool. Did I've it never go... seen. I don't know if I've seen lynx tracks this detailed before. Like a full path of them. Yeah, they're in perfect. The winter, yeah. I'd be curious to follow, just see where they came from and went. Seems like it came from. That marsh over there. I wonder if there's a den right over there. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, trail cam has to go here, I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like somewhere in here where it's like nice and close. That's so cool. Yeah. I love links. 
Do you want to put it that close or somewhere where there's a little bit more of a like, view of it? Well, if it walks, I'll put it, I was going to point Facing it that, that way. Yeah. So if it walks past or if it goes up the trail, yeah. like it did last yeah. time, I okay. don't know. Yeah. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> Do us a favor. It's one of those things. When the trail cam is there, nothing happens. And then as soon as it's gone, the lynx walks by. <laughs> so funny. Oh okay, fingers crossed. Getting back to camp after a little wander. Now we're gonna get some chores done before enjoying some activities when it warms up a bit this afternoon. Kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Bonus. That's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. Nice looking pile, and we got another tree that we can continue processing if we need it. Mm -hmm. Probably, eh, I don't know, we'll see. It's so hard to tell. Yeah. We're not burning overnight. Yeah. Should be pretty close. Good work. Thank you. One toothpick? No, thank you. I made it myself. Snow starting to pick up and we hope it gives us a lot because we're going to need it for our project tomorrow. You can see a big pressure crack running here right around this mound of snow. So the weight of that evidently made an impact on, on how this formed. And that's what causes those big booms in the middle of the night, these pressure cracks forming. They're not dangerous, they're not going to break. This ice is rock solid, at least a foot deep. On big lakes you can get big pressure ridges and those can be dangerous, but on a small lake like this, it's fine. Well, it's been a while since I've had these on. Yeah, first be, time in the season for me. Might be since we skated at Coldwell for me. Huh. Wow. It's a little chippy, but it's all right. It's pretty fun. It feels weird skating without a stick. It does. Oh, I have the solution actually. <laughs> Whoa! I got the solution. Yeah. Where's my stick? Shovel like work? this. What's that? I should have. You oh, yeah. used the shovel. Smart. Faster. Probably would have ate crap a couple times. How long do we have legs for? <laughs> the rest of the whole week. What? <laughs> yeah. This cool pattern. Probably an old truck. Yeah. Everyone was just saying. It's like we have this whole lake to ourselves. When we first got here, it was like having our own little cabin. But we haven't seen anyone else's tracks or any sign of anyone on this little lake. Didn't really expect to, but it's just nice when that actually comes to fruition. We're gonna go for a little wander in behind camp. We're gonna look for some birch bark, see if there's any chaga, and just also enjoy what's left of the daylight while we've got it.
Winter camping never ceases to tire us right out. So it's going to be a great sleep, mild night. Should be the mildest of the trip. So we'll let the stove go out after this. And we got a big day tomorrow. Anything? No. Okay. Good night. This feels so good. Mm-hmm. Day three, we've got our morning chores done. And today we're looking for a little redemption. What are we doing? Today we're attempting something we haven't done in two years, which is building an igloo. So two years ago, two inches ago, we got pretty close and just the last couple layers we weren't able to complete. So we're going to try again today. It was also bitterly cold. It was then, so cold. So the snow is struggling to bind and center. Yeah. And then the first time we tried to build a, a huge igloo, <laughs> not knowing how, how much yeah time it takes and we ran out of time that day so. so after and there is a learning curve there's quite a learning curve yes. i'm feeling confident and i'm i'm excited so we're gonna set up we're gonna make an attempt for the nine foot i'm foot igloo so we're getting the form assembled it looks like a child's toy but it's surprisingly technical there's a whole booklet on how to do it, and you have to build a perfect catenary arch. That's how an igloo works and how it supports itself. So it's, no it's more technical play. than you think. <laughs> no, it's not child's play. We were going to build it on this platform. That's why we put all that snow there. But we got no snow last night. We were expecting a decent inch or something. Um, so we're going to now use the snow to build the igloo instead and build right on the ice. It should look pretty cool. I wonder if we should put a light powdering of snow around because there's, there's yeah. a gap here, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got our first block shoveled. For the first three, it's actually, they're each a third so that we create a ramp. So as we come around to the next consecutive level, it goes up in a ramp and there's a nice slope leading into the next level. So first block, it's only a third of a block, but let's see how it goes. Beautiful. Packing pretty well. I think so. Nice. So we laid out the nine footer initially, but then felt it was too small. So we've gone with 10. I think our first one was actually 11, which is huge. Anyway, this all pivots around this centered in center. And then the bar has different numbers on it for different levels. So lots of things to keep an eye on as we move. So we're pretty close, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, bang on. We are around to the beginning, so end of layer one, beginning of layer two. So starting up our ramp. It's a good feeling because the first level has to be, you have to make sure it's level every yeah. time. There's like a little line on the side here. You have to make square to the floor. You need the right angle. So, so. now that's, that's the base. Now we just build on top of it for every layer. So we're coming into the third level now, and you know those horror movies where they buy a house and it's haunted <laughs> and it ruins their lives? That's what this infernal tool is no, to me not. right now. I know Aaron's gonna disagree with me, but we're winging it because despite our absolute best intentions and most careful measurements, the first layer did not lead smoothly into the second. And now we're just constantly trying no, to wing it, but. Fully winging it. It's a little finicky and it's still going. So every block we make is now an inch too much inside. So it, it creates like an overlap and it collapses. So anyway, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm giving up. We're gonna, I mean, we have a full week here. We can try again tomorrow if we have to. I wanna, don't wanna do it. It's the only way to break the curse. Let's do it. Get filling. 
but I do prefer a Quincy. Even though one collapsed on me, <laughs> still prefer it's it. It's finicky and a little technical. It's yeah, you fine. need a lot of patience, and I, Aaron has a lot more than me. And the other thing is, you know, we're not incompetent. At least Aaron's not. She has her masters. She used to work in concrete, pouring concrete into forms for like how many summers? Six. Six summers. And she built her own house. Shouldn't we be able to figure this out? We are figuring out, it's just finicky. Okay. Things don't work flawlessly like in your little world. <laughs> your little fairy tale land. It's working. More blocks than not are staying. Yeah, at least the snow is is uh, centering pretty well today. Yeah. That's why we did it today when it's reasonably mild. Another but shovel. Anyway, we'll keep trying. Yeah, we will. There's nothing to show. Get out of here, paparazzi. Aaron won't let me film the gap. There's no gap. It would it would reaffirm my point. Do you see a gap? He's crazy. Want to bring the booklet in or? Maybe. There's a little crack, so we're oh, gonna. This one cracked. Yeah, I still having a ton of fun out here. Yeah. And we have three, this is day three, so we have three full days left, possibly four if we wanted. And I would probably do this every day until we got it right. We got it. But it doesn't it's matter. the only way to break the curse. We're gonna do it today. I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, no, we're gonna do it today. Oh yeah, okay, so you want me to hold you? Mm. That's, this is the other weird thing about this, you eventually trap yourself. Well, you you can't dig out until the end. No, layer three, after layer three you can. Oh, after layer three, yeah. okay. Oh my, no! <laughs> don't you want a running start? I don't know, I don't want to eat. Or a strider too? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, hon. No, give me, give me a stool. You're trapped. Give me a stool. No, those are not stable at all. I think you, <laughs> you can make it. I don't know. I'm, I've got extra pants on, and so <laughs> I don't have like my range of motion's not good. Um, I don't know if I can, unless I like jump and somersault out. So now dangerous. we must build higher so that you can yeah. dig a tunnel out. I think so. So we went and got our splitting block. Hopefully Aaron will feel confident jumping out with this. I don't know if I will. It would just be heartbreaking to tear the wall down, so she's just being conscious of that. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. You good? Yeah. One. Ready for a I'm lunch gonna, break. I'm gonna like leap onto you. Okay, and sure. And we're gonna fall in the snow together. <laughs> One, two, one. Okay, yep, three. Okay. <laughs> I'm good at a lot of things. Jumping's not one of them, and I know that. <laughs> I'm okay with it. We need a lunch break. Snow's starting to come down here. Yeah. Take a little. Coming along. That looks good. All right. The tea. Thank you. Just quick break here, warm up by the stove, pile our beds, double decker style over there during the day. Bunk beds. Bunk beds. Close. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. <laughs> wow. Not great. That was very close. I, I almost said, fell into it forward. I know. Yeah. I almost pulled you into it. Back to it. Back to it. Feeling invigorated. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Yeah, it's a spirit. <laughs> crabby duck is a crabby duck. Fill a belly soon. 21 days we've been shoveling hard, craving that greasy spoon. I got a rumly in my tumbly, I could eat for a platoon. 
As the miles pass by, our hunger grows. So we sing this shepherd's tune. Ah. Three o'clock, so yeah. we have two and a half hours left of daylight. Okay. It's gonna be tight. It's, tight. it's taking us five hours to get to this point. Yeah. <laughs> you want more? Yep. Please. frustrated we got through four levels but as you can see behind me they weren't lining up so we obviously did something wrong uh, it's our th like third real attempt with this yeah I think it's just a finicky tool so I have to practice and get it right but it's discouraging because it gets exciting and starts taking shape but um, you can see how it's really struggling to line up in this last layer and just taking too long so we're gonna see, may resume this one tomorrow or maybe we're gonna try a different one, but we're gonna take a break for now. We're getting low on daylight, so we're gonna see if we can resume tomorrow. Need a break too. Been shoveling for like seven hours. I feel defeated. <laughs> we do have a sweet snowball for it. That's true. That's true. It's been a beautiful day. Just checking out a little pre sunset scene here. And we'll go have dinner, lick our wounds. Yeah. And start fresh tomorrow. Okay. All you can do sometimes, eh? Yeah. Back in the haunt tent, Aaron's reading up the uh, manual again, and we're gonna start the healing process with some hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Drink deep. <laughs> Still just above minus 20 and there's a breeze. So it's gonna be a little tougher packing the snow today, but we're ready to give it another shot. 
We're gonna start fresh. Brand yeah. new igloo, smaller one. A bit more manageable, hopefully. All right, off to work. Let's do it. Oh. Where'd we go wrong? <laughs> oh yeah, the center thing's in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need to shuffle it up. Yeah. <laughs> The walls are probably pretty strong now. I know. Still standing. It's nice and strong after centering for the night. It's surprising how sturdy it is. But we went wrong somewhere and weren't able to finish up, so we gotta redo it. Yeah. Nice and chilly for us today. Yeah, it's wind is one. cutting. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get after it. Starting the new one over there centering in this block and then the pole attaches to this and pivots around it just making this rock solid with a little water so Aaron's measuring this ramp meticulously should uh, a good base should set us off on the right foot yeah yeah we go all right you want to kind of yep. prop that up so why even use an igloo building tool why not just cut blocks out of the snow? Well, the snow this winter, this crazy winter, we've only got about an inch and a half on the on the lake. So there's not enough. And the snow here just doesn't hard pack like that, like it does in the subarctic and arctic. So this is why we need the tool up here. End of the first level. Aaron did an immaculate job. It should be flawless. No reason why it shouldn't work. <laughs> To level three now. Here's how long it takes to make one block. <laughs> Film the whole thing. And moves the form, shovel in the first load, packs it down. Second load usually takes four of these. Snow blows into Aaron's face, but she's a trooper. Good. Yeah. All good? Yeah. Pack it gently but firmly, kind of like a good parenting style. <laughs> And how long do you center for the block? Uh, if you're doing it right, it says you don't have to let it center. Right. But, uh, it takes courage. It takes so courage. Sit. Yeah. And centering is just when you make a snowball, it, all the uh, little snow molecules crushing together releases a small amount of heat, which melts a small amount of ice and snow and helps them bind together. It's a snowball effect. And then I gently support the form and lift the U-bar. Release the toggle and slide her off. And despite the cold today, <laughs> only one block has cracked. Yeah, so. it's gone well. Doing well. I knocked it off its stick and I'm yeah. too excited. <laughs> <laughs> so making the block can go really smoothly like that, but there are other times where you try three or four times just to move ahead that one block, and the first layer takes quite a bit longer, so it all adds up. Sun's starting to come out for us now, and it makes you feel so good to be out here. That's nice. Yeah, this morning was a bit rough, but this is what it's all about. Today's going a lot better than yesterday. We've just started layer five. And let me give you a little bit of a tour. I'm inside sitting down. We're on the last block of the ramp leading into layer five. So that's it centering right behind me. And it's starting to feel like a shelter to me. This one's eight feet. Much better feeling. This wind's 
gonna take it into your face. That's okay. I'll clean my head. Look how close we are. Three o'clock. We still got time too. And I got snowballs in my pouch. <laughs> yeah, we do have time. It's gonna get technical, but it's pretty exciting. Yeah, the end is gonna be a challenge that we haven't yet attempted, but we haven't yet succeeded. Feel good. Yeah, this is fun. As we're getting into our final layers of the igloo, the back of the form comes off and then it gets piled on like this so we pack it just as is and then you're still able to pivot. So we haven't successfully got to this place yet where we pull the back off and move forward so it's a big step for us. We're just on the ramp leading into level 6. Wish us luck. You ready? I'm ready. Nope. All right, give us more. Not sunk. Done pretty good today. We haven't finished it, but we are on the sixth layer, starting to get the hang of the blocks without the panel. But we're running out of daylight and we're just sore and tired, so cold and cold. It's getting really cold. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna leave it and come back tomorrow, but definitely feeling more encouraged than yesterday. Yep. Yeah. It's a narrow berthing canal. Shoulders are out. Good job. Good work. We're almost there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool in there. Yeah. I mean, lots of firewood in tonight. Could be the coldest night of the trip, but it's going to start cold as opposed to the first night, which didn't start too that cold. So. We're gonna run the stove all night. Thank you. Oh. It feels good to be in the nice warm tent, eh? Yeah. What are you feeling the most right now, body-wise? Cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like chilled, but fine. And then, um, yeah, kind of in here from supporting the form. Yeah. Shoulders. Yeah, but Shoulders and neck. Job. But uh, mostly just the chill. Yeah. <laughs> so once we stop, eh? Yep. How about you? Uh, lower back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Be all good in just a sec. Oh, yeah. If only we had two more beers. <laughs> I'm gonna get some hot chocolates going. I realized something today with this tool. I thought it was an igloo building tool. It is a tool that lets you practice a skill of igloo building. <laughs> it's like buying a fishing rod. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't catch you fish. You have to learn the skill. Yeah. So yeah, it's a. It takes longer. It's a bigger learning curve than you think when you get this plastic form <laughs> that looks like kids could make it. Yeah. So. That's a good. Yeah, way to we're play. getting there. Yeah kind of click today. Yeah, it's not like, it's not um, easy. It's not. I don't know what the comparison is, but yeah, something that you, that makes it dummy-proof. 
Yeah, yeah. Right? Instead, it's something that you practice and learn how to use. And Like, getting a saw doesn't mean you can build a house, but mm -hmm. if you practice enough, you can. Yeah. Bring your own level, though. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Fun day. I'm uh, definitely wind and sunburnt. Oh, yeah. yeah. You probably more than me, because I at least think I'm protected from the wind quite a bit. Yeah. It's dead calm and quiet in the igloo. Yeah, it's nice. Especially once it's done. I was getting some of that, that like, deafening quiet mm. that you get in the Quincy. Yeah, that's Being fun. Being in there, yeah. Yeah. I love that. So, hopefully we'll finish it up tomorrow. Mmm. Dinner tonight, we've got some shredded potatoes, which can be like our fries with wild mushrooms and some like spices. It looks delicious. And we're gonna make it poutine style with some gravy. And our the cheese we wanted to use for this went moldy in winter. Weird. And um, it wasn't so, even open. Yeah, and it was unopened. So we've got that. That'll do for sure. Can't wait. Mm. This is gonna be good. Already smells amazing. So that's a Once big it hits the pan. portion. I am hungry. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> that smells so good. <laughs> While we wait for dinner, we've got some freezies. A treat you can have out here in the winter. <laughs> we found them in Aaron's truck at the last second <laughs> and decided to bring them. Yep. Doesn't everyone have a pack of truck freezies? She's ready, hon. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Heavenly. Heavenly. Mm. I think that could be a moose. Oh, we can hear something. Could be footsteps in the snow. I don't think that's the ice. It doesn't sound like the ice and it's not coming from the right direction. It's coming from like the the marshy area next to us. Hmm. I feel like something's chomping through there. Well, oh yeah, I'm fine. I can see. We'll have to go for a little stroll over there tomorrow. Look for tracks. Mm -hmm. You know what it could be? Hmm. It could be a couple of moose bedding down over there. You know, they were sort of tromping around and getting themselves settled in. Uh, yeah, I'd be surprised if they would set up right close to us. I'm sure mm -hmm. they could smell us. Because now I don't hear anything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Looking cold this morning, minus 30. Really glad we kept the stove running. Snow insulation keeps the hole open though. Okay. 
put on the food the top of that. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Flock of birds came to watch. <laughs> <laughs> what a morning. It's a chilly one. Look at their little igloo. That door looks so small. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna let it warm up a little and then continue here. It's so close. We're gonna do it. But it's too cold right now. Back at it. Finish line in sight. And in a couple hours, it's supposed to start snowing pretty hard. So hopefully we can get it done before then and have a nice little roof. On this. Yeah. And if you're wondering why not just throw a tarp on top or some boughs, cover it with snow. Well, then it's not a cantonary arch anymore. So it doesn't have the structural strength. It would just feel like cheating at this point. We might do it if, we, if it comes to that. If but we don't get it done, then we can for the night, but we yeah. wanna. Do it right. Do it right if we can. And the book says to create a little bevel here. So then you pack the snow onto the bevel and that supports the next one as you go around. Oh. It's tight in there, eh? It's tight in here. With the really cold temps overnight, the snow's become really sugary and it's not packing very well. And also, I feel like this these last bits are pretty technical, so our nerves have to be fresh. We're gonna take a little break and go for a walk to another lake close by, leave this one to center, and come back and hopefully keep making some progress on our igloo, and hopefully by then the snow's a little better. Yeah, we were planning to go to this lake this afternoon anyway, so swap the plans. Nice sun dogs again today, and there's a little connecting lake, and I haven't had time to check it out yet on any of the visits. Just through here, this little marshy area, it's almost a separate lake, but they're kind of linked here. Been wanting to check it out. Nice to be doing something besides an igloo building for a little bit. Beautiful spot here. Would have been a nice spot for the camp too. So we heard what sounded like some tracks last night. First we thought it was the ice shifting. Erin went over there this morning and she didn't see, see anything, so it was either the ice or it was further away than we thought and Erin didn't go far enough, but it was a little spooky. I just saw a little something move here in the bush and then we paused and said, ah, oh, it's nothing and we heard a stick break, so we're going to check it out. Might have just been a grouse. There's a little squirrel pantry here. Dining table. Look at this. What? These trees rotted away. Yeah. But look at the beaver. Oh. The beaver at one point got pretty close to getting through it. Just gave and look, up. it's a pantry too. Yeah. More pine cone stash. That's so cute. Here's a good sized track. Be moose, hair tracks, snowshoe hair. Yeah, those are fresh. 
The beaver really chewed this one down. Look at that. Tons of blow down here, but nice woods. Get this beer links again. Haven't seen the trail cam area for two or three days now. Can't wait to check that out. Here, that's busy up here. Yeah. Huh. Got plenty of birch bark back at camp, but Aaron that's couldn't resist. <laughs> it's just yeah. a nice piece. Right, my will on here. <laughs> Do you meet me concern? Whatever this is, took the scenic route. Having a little fun going under trees. to refuel after a minus 30 night. close? Too close? That's okay. okay. <laughs> Hi! That's fun. It's so cute. It's safe, I guess. Yeah, it's a really cool spot. Tons of animal activity. There's the beaver lodge with some sticks to munch on. Beaver's been munching on some stuff recently here. Smaller. Birch. And I would love to be able to see into its lodge right there. How many are in there? Yeah. Are they terrified that they hear footsteps? <laughs> are there wolves out there? We just hunkered in and cozy for the winter. <laughs> and we think these have to be lynx tracks. One of my favorite things about winter is just being able to use your imagination to fill in the gap. Seeing all the tracks and kind of putting the pieces together. It's always really cool. Found something. Aaron's been on the hunt for chaga. We haven't harvested some in a while because we haven't needed it. Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty nice piece. Look at this nice little piece right at yeah. reachable length. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. It's a mushroom and you can use it to make tea. Yeah. Very healthy. There it is. Sweet. It's a nice size chunk. Mm -hmm. And if we leave that on there, it'll continue growing. Nice. Awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> Let's see We've stopped for a little lunch break and we're going to brew up some of the chaga we found. So just putting it in some water and typically you don't want to get it to a full boil. You want to kind of steep it at a simmer. simmer. So we're going to put them in while this, this water is just out of the lake so it's still cold. But we'll get it up to a simmer and then kind of put it off to the side and you leave it to simmer for several hours. We'll have a nice cups of chaga tonight. Freshly harvested. Back to the igloo and we're back at it. It's just got to work. Aaron wants to sleep in it tonight and it's going to be a reasonable night temperature wise. It's also nicer out now. It's climbed 22 degrees since this morning so it's only minus 8 right now according to the thermometer. So that should help with packing the snow as well. Yes. Yes. Successful block. We've had a lot of crumbles. Yeah. Trying to go at this sort of an angle. We're so close. Look We're at this. So close. Like four more blocks, probably. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hello. Um. Final level. I'm pretty sure we're about on our last block here. So I've taken the form, it's not supporting this one. I'm gonna pop in, move it over what's left of the hole, and then John will shovel it up and gently pack it with the shovel from there. And uh, wish us luck. Uh, is that pressure okay? Yeah, it's perfect. I'm holding it up now as John's <laughs> shoveling in close to the last of it. More? Okay. Oh, so glad we stopped. It's packing so much better now. I'm packing it from the top with the shovel right there, right at the finish line. No hands. So that's the last of the snow. Final forms holding itself up. We're going to let it center not too long and then remove this form and see if our roof holds. And then I got a new crib for the night. Here we go. I'm gonna bring down the final form. Let's see if it holds. Whoa. We got some snow. Do we have a roof? Look at that. Done? It's done. <laughs> what do you see? Snow! What? Did it fall? No. Good? Yeah! Okay! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, what a relief! Come out of here! Mm -hmm. Come out! You come in! There's so much room! We've got company! Whoa! Come on in! Wow! That's awesome! What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty roomy. It's more spacious than you'd think, eh? Yeah, it is. Eight footer? Oh, wow, what a mission. Worth it? At least once? Hard to say right now, but yeah, yeah, I'm glad we got one done. Yeah, just finished Rhino, so like it's a bit messy, but I'll make it into a nice, nice bachelor pad before evening. Don't you worry. Thanks, hon. Oh my goodness, thank you. Great job. So I started building some sidewalls and as soon as Erin got out, she couldn't help herself. She wasn't done. <laughs> We're making a monumental grand entrance where she'll be sleeping tonight. I'll be in the hot tent. I don't know if we <laughs> mentioned that. <laughs> It'd be a little tight in there for two. It would be doable, but I think it's good if one of us is in there and if something goes wrong here, then yeah, yeah she can come into back. Turning my Barbie dream house. <laughs> Back home, ready for a well-earned chaga. Mm-hmm. Well, that looks nice and dark. Mm-hmm. This stuff is super dark. It's darker than coffee. Thank you. Welcome. Cheers, everyone. We did it. Yeah, that is fresh. Mm-hmm. Good batch. That's a good batch. Celebratory pad thai on the menu tonight.
Mm. Yum. Don't mind if I do. All right, Erin's <laughs> off to her mansion, Stowe Mansion. Alrighty. Feels so Love weird. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Have a good night. You too. See you in the morning. Be safe. Well, I'm just getting settled in for the night. You can see over here, I've got a candle. Ooh, there's just a crack under us, um, which I'll burn out before I go to bed. I'll put out, but a nice candle, my boots and things, and over here, my sleep setup. I'm quite excited. There's been some big cracks on the ice, which is kind of fun being out here sleeping on it. So, should be a nice night. I brought the thermometer that we usually keep outside, just out of curiosity. And at the moment, it's about minus five degrees, which is, I think about at least five degrees warmer than it was outside. So that's pretty cool. And I'm feeling, I feel good. It feels cozy in here, not too cold. I think I'll, I'll sleep well tonight. Just do a little bit of reading before I settle in and probably call it a night. I'm cozy and tucked in. When I turn out the light, it feels like any other place that I sleep. So with that, I think I might settle in, turn out the lights and get some sleep. The only difference is every once in a while, the ground shakes underneath me, but that's pretty neat. All right, good night. Back to the tent, which is so nice and warm. It's hard to imagine why Erin wants to spend it over there, but I do get it. She's an adventurous gal. That's why I married her. And she deserves to enjoy that sleep in there because the igloo is really her achievement. I would not have gotten that done. I don't have the skills and really don't have the patience. It takes a lot, so it's not for everybody, but I'm glad we got one done and uh, that she gets to enjoy it tonight. I suspect she's having a good time if she's not already asleep. morning it is let me tell you what time it is just after eight i think yeah quarter after eight i'm still here it was still here let's uh i had a good night's sleep yeah so it's about minus four So stayed pretty consistent throughout the night. Pretty warm for sleeping in an ice box. Yeah, overall it was, uh, it was a good night. A couple of booms on the ice. Cozy little home here. Pretty excited about it. I'd say it was pretty cool. All right, let's get this day started. That's hilarious, you just came out. I have a hot mug for you. Yay! You want it in the tent? Yeah, I'll come there. I literally just said, see if John's got coffee ready. <laughs> That's so funny. You warm up in there, enjoy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Wow, what a palace. <laughs> you have quite the mansion.
cutting up the last of the firewood for our final night. goes. Perfect conditions here for our final day. Yeah. The, wind the wind's pretty gusty as opposed to consistent, which makes it a little tricky for kiting because see, when you get the gusts, it fills up Woo and goes nice, but then as it dies, it you lose your power. But it's super fun to have out. A little practice flying, it's been a while for me. Everyone's going on a little chaga hunt, and I'm starting a little hunt of my own. So I want to do some ice fishing today. It's a little windy and chilly. Got a perfect windbreak here, so something good will come out of this shelter. And look how strong it is, even when it's not complete. I can put all my weight here. Last time I was here, caught a pike for dinner on this white tube jig. Started with that. Got my sonar here. Let's see how deep it is. Oh, pretty shallow actually. Just four and a bit feet, four and a half. Let's try it.
been here for probably 90 minutes now and no signs of life. We've got the sonar, the camera, if anything had come by I would know. And when you're not getting any action with ice fishing, it's pretty much the most boring thing in the world. So I'm happy that I just got to use this igloo in some way. It's been much warmer here than elsewhere. And that's why I can't go anywhere else because the wind is too cold. So I'm gonna join Erin. She's having some fun over the igloo. Let's see what she's up to. So Erin just finished up with the igloo and she got the fire started. So we're in here. Still a pretty good amount of firewood left, but we are in for a cold night, so we'll see. Aaron had a good chaga haul today. That's yesterday's piece. She added several more. Should last us a few months. Just enjoying the fire here to close out day six. I'm gonna go for a sunset stroll around the lake too. And mug of chaga. This is very nice. Just gotta enjoy the slow pace on final night. Been a wonderful trip and the best is yet to come with the igloo because Aaron wants to spend another night out there and it's supposed to be in the minus 20s tonight so yeah it'll but, be interesting to test it in a colder temperature and because we yeah. put so much effort into building and it felt like a shame to just spend one <laughs> night so yeah final night hopefully a good sunset and the stars are supposed to be good tonight too so mm -hmm. should be perfect cheers cheers How you feeling? Good. Yeah. A little bit uh, hard to leave the tent, warm tent, but yeah. I'm excited. Already getting down. <laughs> It was minus 16 outside when I came in and brought the thermometer in and in here right now I don't know if you can see that but it's about minus 9 so it's warmed up 7 degrees in here compared to outside which isn't too shabby so I'm getting comfortable here and you can see I made myself a little bedside table that I didn't have last night so I can keep my candle close for warmth I think it's gonna be really nice I hope that John's not um, too uncomfortable in the tent with this big stove. I really feel for him tonight. Final night, loading up the stove before bed. And I might keep it going all night. We have enough wood and it should get pretty chilly tonight, so it might be worth it. My brave wife is in the igloo and it's so cute how much she's enjoying that. And I hope she has a great night. And if she doesn't, yeah, maybe I'll keep the stove running all night just in case. And it's nice for me too. Oh. about 1 a.m. and unfortunately I have to get up and pee. So I'm going to take this opportunity to move the thermometer outside so we can see what the temperature is out there. It's holding pretty steady at minus 9 degrees Celsius in here. So yeah, it's, it's not bad. I'm very curious to see what, what it looks like outside. So 
I'm gonna get up and move that. Go pee. And then hopefully sleep the rest of the night. Good morning. I had a successful second night solo in the igloo and it got down to minus 26 last night. So it was a chilly one out there. The temperature stayed survivable in here. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to pack up and then John and I are packing up camp today and heading home. It's been an awesome trip. I'm all packed up, so let's wrap on the igloo for this trip. Let's go head into the tent and see how John's night was. Yeah, the temperature held steady as it's about minus 26, so chilly night out here. Erin's picking up her last few things there at the igloo. What a gorgeous morning. Budgeted the firewood well. Just a little bit left. Put it here in case I come back. Leaving camp, it was such a beauty. We we're sad to leave it. Yeah, it was sad to leave it. It was perfect. Yeah. Might have to come back someday. One last thing here. Ooh. Yes. Be prepared to fall just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. We did it. We did it. Finally. Igloo champs yes. 2024. <laughs> yes. Our kingdom. And now we retire from the game. Yep. Retire on top. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. It was just falling to dust sometimes <laughs> when it was minus 30. And now we're sitting on it. Yeah. Uh. Coming down. <laughs> Just 
Just got across the lake with the loads and not too far to go on the trail to get back to the truck and complete the trip. Just picked up the trail cam. It seems like there's nothing here, but otherwise it was a perfect trip. Wouldn't change anything, great conditions, and a special trip for Aaron in particular because you soloed in an igloo. Yep. Your coldest cold camp ever at minus 27 last night or minus 25 out of the igloo. And your first full week in winter. Camping trip, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great trip and uh, got to go hunt some chaga, get out on the skates. On the kite a little got the bit. Kite in the air. A little ice fishing. Yeah. Couldn't have been better. Experienced so many joys of winter. Yeah. It it's been fantastic. Having the ice boom while sleeping overnight in the igloo was really fun. Yeah, yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. Now we just gotta get these loads up this steep hill. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't wait for a shower and a burger. Yeah. Can't wait. It's gonna be good. All right. Back to the truck, and now you just hope it starts. 